enough of that silliness. Uh, you uh, may have found uh, some bells on your chair. You probably put them under your chair. I didn't have enough for all of the seats, but if you don't want to play the bells, share your bells with someone. <laughs> Not to be outdone by Fred Parkinson, I want you to also participate in my number. And we're going to sing a chorus. Now, Herb's going to help me with that chorus. I would like you to do this. I'd like you to ring the bells during the chorus. And if you want to sing along, that'd be great too. It's going to be, you've got to ring them bells. You've got to ring them bells. You've got to make them sing and really ring them bells. It's such a happy thing to hear them ting a ling. You've got to ring them. Okay, were you really doing it? I couldn't hear you. Okay. I'm, I'm trusting you on this one. All right. They get better as they go along. <laughs> Gather around. I've got a story to tell about a palm desert lady that I know very well. She lives at Five Cactus Drive. Her name is Shirley DeVore. And she traveled around the world to meet the guy next door. <laughs> well, there was trouble inside apartment 29E. Cause Shirley's mother and dad, they were upset as can be. They said, we hate to complain, dear, and we don't like to gross. But you're nearly 32, you should be out of the house. <laughs> And you know, Shirley, my dear, at your age, you've got to ring them bells. You've got to ring them bells. You've got to make them sing and really ring them bells. You're such a happy thing to hear them ting a ling. You've got to ring them bells. You've got to make them sing and really ring them bells. It's such a happy thing to hear them ting a ling. You've got to ring them bells. Well, Shirley was 31, but she was loath to admit. And she had never been loved, which didn't thrill her a bit. And so she sat and she thought. She thought for hours on end. Then she said, I'll go to Chase Manhattan where I've got me a friend. And there she borrowed four thou and booked a plane flight that day and told her mother and dad that she was up and away. She said, I'll travel the continent a month, maybe two, and I'll bring me back a husband. Yes, that's what I'll do. And you know, Mom and Dad, I know you're right at my age. I've got to ring them bells. I've got to ring them bells. i got to make them sing and really ring them bells. It's such a happy thing to hear them ting a you got to ring them bells. And so Shirley went traveling. She met a Londoner first, but they did not hit it off. Cause every time she approached, he got a bronchial cough. <coughs> <coughs> and so she went to Madrid and met a handsome senor, but he liked to throw the bull and he was no matador. <laughs> She also bombed out in Brussels, Mallorca, and Rome till someone said, Try Dubrovnik, dear, before you go home, because it's the kind of a place where you'll be likely to fall. You know, all oh, the rich and famous find the Balkans a ball. And you know, if no one's ever mentioned this to you before, Shirley, you've got to ring the bell. You've got to ring the bell. You've got to make them sing and really ring the bell. It's such a happy thing to hear them ting a ting. You've got to ring the bell. And so she went to Dubrovnik. And the very next day, she met a guy on the beach who took her reason away. Yes, it was love at first sight and such a beautiful scene. She said, my name is Cheryl DeVore. He said, I'm Norm Sepperstein. <laughs> she said, are, are you from Palm Desert? He said, that can't be denied. I've got a swell apartment there at uh, number five, Cactus Drive. <laughs> Shirley said, F -f -f five cactus drive? No, that's my address. You couldn't possibly live it. Are you sure five cactus drive? And if that wasn't enough, for Shirley thought she'd gone deaf. When he told him her his apartment, there was 
29 F. Yes, she was E, he was F, and they had not even met until they traveled all the way to Croatia yet. He'd always been right next door, and she might never have known. If she hadn't tried to rob Nick, she might still be alone. <laughs> well, there's a moral to learn from little Shirley DeVore, who had to travel the world to meet her lover next door. You girls who live in apartments, don't just stare at the walls. Open up the door and hurry out in the hall. And don't forget, you've got to bring them. You gotta bring them. You gotta make them sing and really read them. It's such a happy thing to hear them sing. You gotta read them. 